is Leclerc actually going to go for it here? And oh, he can't stop! And he has gone straight on into Brendan Harley. And you could see that that was coming. Charles Leclerc's first ever home put him out. And Perez then tumbling down the rankings of the wild. There's uh, Charles Leclerc on Fernando Alonso. Charles Leclerc having a great old scrap there in 10th place. It's been quite a story this year, hasn't it? Alonso trying to beat the youngster. And can he get past the youngster? Let us see. Hit the table. Here we go. Alonso is forced wide as he tries to move past the sound. Has to yield. going on for him and are trying a, an undercut on Nico Hulkenberg. He's going slowly. That's not full speed for a pit exit. Smart oh. one. There's a problem. Stop, stick up. Stop, stick up. Switch up. Through turn one here, Charles Leclerc. Oh. And that was nothing to do with the rain whatsoever, but that was a perfectly executed pirouette. Middle name is Lucky today. He's tired to me. He's getting squeezed in from the outside for good measure. Oh, yeah, there we go. There was the, there was the next. Nope. I don't know if they've done it. Charles Leclerc is accessing. Come on. What, what, what did he do? Pierre Gasly there, and that's going to cost him a little bit. Charles Leclerc is right on his tail now, and almost shoving him around the corners as they go over the Anderson Bridge. This is where Massa got past Senna a few years ago. This time Leclerc does the old switcheroo, and a very, very nice exit indeed as he makes his way onto the Esplanade. But Charles Leclerc ahead of Pierre Gasly, who's really struggling now. Vettel. And uh, I think Esteban Ocon, oh look, there we go. We've got Magnussen and Leclerc through turn three, going wheel to wheel. Charles Leclerc around the outside. Wow, look at that. And if he does that at Ferrari next year, we'll be purring even more as well. That's a super move. Yeah. We go here on Magnussen. Oh, he's hit him. He moved too late there, Magnussen. Moves far too late. Kingdom. 
all the sinners cross so they dug your grave in the mask so straight through the engine okay copy that we are checking it there's a quick straight through the engine he's Don't lost a lot of pace and Charles Leclerc Leclerc is sitting down so Lewis Hamilton down towards the far corner down. takes Don't the lead off the, 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 the bar in Grand Prix Charles Leclerc He's still in the top three, but only just at the moment as Valtteri Bottas now passes it. Lewis Hamilton wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas comes home in second place. Charles Leclerc gets his first podium in Formula One. Ah, yeah, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm I think that will be an easy overtake. Game, set and match to the Monegasque. How easy was that? Watching now Pierre Gasly looking into his mirrors. They'll keep Gasly out because it's going to help Verstappen this to see if he can keep Charles Leclerc at bay. Leclerc's going to have to leave this very late. Gasly offers the way down the inside, but Leclerc's a bit too far back. Now we'll try and get him on the run down towards turn two, and he's not going to manage it there either. We'll definitely get DRS assistance on this particular straight, but it is holding him up. All the while, he stays behind that Red Bull and he needs to get past him for his and Ferrari's own sake, and he manages to do so. Charles Leclerc up into fifth. It's going to affect Charles Leclerc's attempt at fastest lap. He's got two uh, best sectors, first and second. Well, Nico Hulkenberg is the man that he passed there to lap. It's Charles Leclerc who started eighth and has finished yeah. fifth and has taken the fastest lap in this race. Ah! 
as into the pits comes Charles Leclerc, and into the pits comes Max Verstappen. On go the medium compound tyre, that's a use set, on go medium for Max Verstappen as well. And look, they're now wheel to wheel down the pit lane, but Verstappen has actually got about a metre advantage, and they have swapped round in the pits. It was all down to the work of the pits as well. He's got wide, has all the good work become undone as Verstappen tries to fight back. giving it everything here. Here comes Verstappen again. He's almost pushed onto the grass. Somehow Leclerc stayed ahead. And I think Verstappen had to back off a little bit there because he was almost on the grass on the inside at Stowe. This is getting serious. Verstappen wide again. He's now going to have to defend against Leclerc. He's been doing all the attacking on Leclerc. Now he's defending. They do touch wheels as Charles Leclerc marches his way through. And Max Verstappen hangs out around the outside to try and regain the place, which he does. Behind them, Carlos Sainz is now getting involved as well. How many more laps of action can Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc give us, hopefully? Leclerc is definitely closer to Gasly on this particular lap. And he's staying close enough to make a move around the outside of Village. He's going to go for it. It's Charles Leclerc. That is absolutely epic. Absolutely beautiful. I, I say the word again. Wow. Grand Prix and the standing ovation in memory of Antoine Hubert, who tragically lost that rising star this weekend here at Spa. Hamilton, now through the middle sector, is throwing down an epic challenge. They all want Hamilton's crown, but he's not going to be easily beaten, is he? He never gives up. Charles Leclerc standing on the top. He came here with the advantage on paper. It's not been plain sailing on the asphalt, but Charles Leclerc can now see the chequered flag. And for the first time ever, Charles Leclerc wins a Formula One Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is second. Valtteri Bottas will come home for third. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. This one is for Antoine. Feels good, but yeah. Difficult to enjoy on a weekend like this. Just say, 
gets a DRS. He's going for it again, Lewis Hamilton. Got a great exit out of the chicane. Round the curve at Grande they go. Is it a Grande move from Lewis Hamilton towards the Della Rogia chicane? Leclerc's on the inside. Hamilton goes on to the gravel and has to take to the escape road. And you can hear the cheers from Monza. You can see the celebration starting. He's got one more corner, the famous Parabolica to go. Mercedes threw everything at him today. Charles Leclerc has coped brilliantly. He won in Spa. He wins in Monza. Charles Leclerc is the winner of the 2019 Italian Grand Prix. You've done it. Racetrack, he got in so hot into that tight left hand into the pit lane. And I that was a quick stop from Ferrari, wasn't it? Well, three seconds he was uh, stationary, Verstappen 2.3 seconds. And he's very close between Leclerc and Vettel. Well, Sebastian Vettel was stationary for three seconds, Leclerc 2.4 seconds. That's Hamilton got enough life in those tyres to, to really hit hammer time. So close. And Look get at these out two. Look ahead at of Vettel. These two. Well, Vettel's going to get ahead of Leclerc here, and he is. I thought he would. I don't think Vettel's pit stop was that slow. Well, I mean, Charles was the best things we could do. Head down, the race is long. Yeah, yeah, my head is down, and it will be down until the race. I just want to let you know my feeling. For the first time in 2019, Sebastian Vettel takes the checkered flag and wins the Singapore Grand Prix. And a win that, unlike in Canada, will stand this Number time 16, around. And he's after Bottas. Here he comes. This time pulls out to the left hand side, to the right hand side. But this time, Valtteri Bottas is still just that bit too far ahead. For the Silver Arrows, who keep up their golden touch in Russia, Lewis Hamilton wins the Russia Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas holds off Charles Leclerc to take second. And for the first time in a long while, Toto Wolf smiles at the end oh, of a Grand Prix. Into one at this particular corner. He finds himself going wheel to wheel uh, with Leclerc through turn one. But then, but then, where, where should I go? He just got a shit into my car. We need to box this lap box. Carbon everywhere. Copy box, but just to let you know, the car doesn't feel that bad. I know it probably looks bad, but the car's quite okay. This time, no contact. No, that Ferrari's absolutely superior, isn't it? It's got straight line speed. Charles Leclerc's going for it into Spoon later on the brakes than Danny Kriat. Nice move, Charles Leclerc. Here comes Charles Leclerc towards 130R and he's got past Kimi Raikkonen. Wow! We've seen people go around the outside at 130R. Is the inside this time for Charles Leclerc, who is pulling off some brilliant overtakes here in Suzuka on this sunny Sunday afternoon. A bit of <laughs> and he gets that slipstream and he goes through on the inside at Spoon. And if Gasly wanted to defend, there was no chance. Charles Leclerc, by the way, could have clinched third place today. He needed to outscore Verstappen by 13 points and Vettel by 8 points. And at the moment, no, he just wants to get past his teammates, which he does. Charles Leclerc down the inside of Sebastian Vettel and he moves himself up into fourth place. Vettel will get DRS down the retro Aposta. Can he now fight back? Leclerc made it very tough earlier and for the oh, oh no he's got a puncher they made contact and Charles Leclerc has got a puncher caused by contact with his teammate Sebastian Rest, but so does Verstappen uh, the DRS there for Leclerc as he tries to lap Russell who keeps out of the way Verstappen dies down the inside on Charles Leclerc Leclerc saw him coming Verstappen broke that fraction later and he manages to get past the Ferrari enabled for the Ferrari he's gonna give it a go Charles Leclerc and goes 
wheel to wheel with Verstappen and comes off worse. As a result, they might have touched going into that chicane, but Verstappen hangs on to second place. Leclerc gave it everything, but he didn't quite have. Lewis Hamilton has led every single lap of this race, had pole, has the fastest lap as well. It is Lewis Hamilton winning flag. Charles Leclerc for the time being, third here in Abu Dhabi. Valtteri Bottas finishes fourth.